Good day, good day, friends. Happy Scrapper here. And uh, today was a fear day. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. So it's the first time I've used a grinder to cut metal. Um, it's the first time I've ever tried to A. Disassemble a propane tank and B. Cut one. <laughs> So, uh, it was an interesting day. I then proceeded to torch the entire thing to burn off all the paint, which I have not scraped off yet, as it sits here cooling. Um, couple little side notes. One, it's freezing out here. <laughs> Two, um, this is going to be the happy scrapper ball mill um, so I'm gonna clean it up and I'm probably gonna soften up the edges of these cuts on the inside first I'll try some JB weld if that doesn't work I'll get a real welder of course um, so, picture those two blocks, <laughs> picture them two blocks as actually rollers. Um, one roller is on a variable speed drill motor, uh, when the roller turns, this turns. And the other roller is a freewheel. There'll be a stopper here and a stopper on the back to prevent it from shimmying. Um, I'll make the bars steel, most likely, because the secondary use of this will be a depopulator for, say, cell phone boards. Uh, underneath will be a couple rows of straight propane burners for barbecues and heat the entire tank while it spins. So cell phones, PCI cards, little things can be depopulated uh, in bulk. I'm pretty sure you can see the camera shaking. I've been out here all day. It's time to go in and warm up with a nice coffee. Uh, yeah, I'm freezing. It's like winter, y'all. <laughs> and here I am out here busting out the, uh, grinder and propane torch and torching a propane tank of all things. So it's been an interesting day. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to fashion a lid for that too. Put it on a hinge. Um... Uh, yeah, and I'll be testing it out as soon as possible. I'm going to have to find some ball bearings or equivalent to put in there with it. Um, I may just build some wooden rollers just for ball mill functionality for now. Until such time as I can upgrade to steel rollers uh, that can take the heat of heating the propane tank for depopulation but ball mill is kind of essential for me right now uh in the stage i'm at so it's time to upgrade so stay tuned there's going to be more from this and of course when it is complete uh i will be showcasing it uh in out in action so sum it all up really right now all i did was use the grinder cut off the top handles exposing the valve i then put a pipe wrench on the valve and beat the living hell out of it with a hammer until it came loose and was able to unscrew it i then tipped it up vertically the way it's supposed to stand and i filled the entire thing with water displacing the air 
Um, then I busted into the cuts and I made the first cut and realized there was still too much water in there and the grinder sprayed nasty, disgusting propane water <clears throat> all up in my face. So I stopped, I went inside, I washed my face, rinsed out my mouth and whatever else just in case and uh, came back out and got back at her. Currently my toque stinks. I'm going to have to wash that. <laughs> so, lesson learned, and if you ever cut into a propane tank and fill it with water, empty a bit of that water out until you're about here after you've drained it, <laughs> or your grinder blade is gonna get all up in that water and it's freaking gross. Really, really gross. This whole process reeks. It stinks so bad, which is part of the reason why I put the torch right up in there. Added on an angle, burned a roofing torch right up in there, burned that whole side, you could see it's gone to ash. And uh, then I came around, pointed it this way, and got that side. Hi. Yeah. You want coffee? Sure. I would love a coffee. Thank you. Can you bring me that mug? Yeah. Or is that one coffee. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, that's the progress and um, stay tuned. There will be more. Cheers y'all.